Hey guys, this is Ricardo and I'm back here on the Watch With Us channel and in for review this week we have the Set May by the micro brand New Carl Watches. Now the story behind the Set May is that brand owner Francois Collier on one of his vacations he actually had a cancellation of one of his flights and this happened on May 7th, 2015. And he had one of those moments where he just was tired of the daily grind of his current job at that time. And he wanted to do something different. He wanted to rediscover a passion in something. And that led him to creating the brand new car watches and to creating this specific watch called the Set May. Now, the Set May is kind of one of those retro futuristic design watches. It's an interesting design. It's definitely something you're not going to see um, everywhere or see in any other micro brand. It's a unique design. And we wanted to get the watch in so that basically we could take a look um, and see exactly what's up with the watch. Now, I've had my eye on this watch for months now. And I've just been waiting for an opportunity to actually get one in for review on the channel. So with that being said, let's start the breakdown of the specs on this watch. Now in for review, we have the Set May Roma Edition. This version comes in at 41 millimeters. It has a 45.8 millimeter lug to lug. The thickness on the watch is 10.5 millimeters thick. It has this beautiful domed sapphire crystal. Now inside the watch, you have a standard grade SW215 movement, 215-1 movement, which comes in at 42 hours of power reserve on a full wind. Now going to the straps, you have here a 20 millimeter lug width. The strap is an Epsom leather strap and they chose the Epsom specifically because of its scratch resistance. It's a nice added bonus to have on this specific watch and to have that type of strap. Now the 20 millimeter strap, that tapers down from 20 millimeters to 18 millimeters at the buckle which is signed new call. If you go to the case back, you'll see that this is a sapphire sandwich watch. So you have sapphire on both the front and on the back of the watch. Behind that sapphire, you'll see that SW215-1 -move movement I mentioned earlier. And right there, you have a standard grade of the watch, but there's also an option if you want to get the elaborate Rate, and I'll kind of go over the extra cost that that will bring. Now, continuing and going back to the front of the watch, you can see that the watch has this beautiful white dial on it. You have these black hands, which are cut out skeleton hands. So there's no loom on the hands, but if you're looking for loom, you get this beautiful thick ring on the center portion of the watch, which is filled with BGW9 loom and gives this great look on the watch when you're coming in from the sunlight and coming indoors. Now, the case itself, it's a two-piece case design. If we go back here to the back of the watch, you'll see these screws which connect the bottom portion of the case, which is containing the four lugs to the top portion of the case. And if you look at the case from the side, it almost seems as if that middle portion, that top portion is floating within the bottom portion of the case. And it creates this cool effect on the watch. Now, in terms of water resistance, this case comes in at 50 meters of water resistance. On the crown, you actually have a push-pull crown. So when it's pushed all the way in, you, you spin it, you actually get hand winding. If you pull out to the first position, you'll now be able to control the date. If you pull it out to the second position, you can now control the time. Now, in terms of 
pricing, I had mentioned earlier that there's the option of going up in terms of grade for the watch. So if you want to get that elaborate grade, that comes in at 95 euros, which means about $115 USD. If you want to go to the, in terms of the actual full cost of watch, that comes in at 599 euros, which translates to about $725 USD. So now that I've kind of gone over the specs on this watch and the pricing, I'll give you guys kind of my opinions on the watch. As I stated earlier, I've been waiting for this watch to come in for quite some time because I just really was attracted to that overall design. Um, the design of the watch is quite beautiful. You get these upturned lugs, which are really a step away from the normal downturn lugs that you see on many watches out there. Um, a lot of people kind of call it the flying saucer design. Um, but it's really an intriguing design and it's something I really like on this watch overall. Um, I like the way they incorporated the Superluminova onto this watch. It's really nice to see instead of getting the indices, you have that nice ring on the center of the watch. I really like the fact that they did a hand wound movement. It's something that a lot of watch micro brands and just a lot of watch brands in general they're just not doing that nowadays. But another added benefit here is not only is it a hand wound movement, but it's also a hand wound movement with the date. That's something that a lot of brands don't use. I wish so many more brands would use that Salida SW215-1 movement. I think it's a really nice movement. It brings back that nice feel of actually hand winding your watches. I also like, I'm going to add one more thing. I also like the leather strap on this. I think the leather strap is quite comfortable. I like the fact that they went for leather that doesn't scratch easily. So that's a perfect, nice addition to this watch. But now if we transition over to the things I don't like about this watch. Um, first thing I don't like, I wish the watch was a little bit smaller. Uh, I think with this type of design, that all dial design that you see on this watch, the 41 millimeters really stands out and I think had this come in at 39 millimeters I think it would make a lot more people happy because even though this is a 41 millimeter watch it wears like almost like a 43 and I think if you drop it down to size at it to 39 I think that's a great thing then you have the the benefit of of it actually wearing a little bit better on most people's wrist. If you check out the video, you'll see just exactly how this looks on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And though some may say it wears well, I feel a few millimeters off of the watch and I think it would be perfect. Even with that negative, this watch presents a nice creative new design when it comes to micro brands. I think a lot of people will be really drawn to this design. It's something interesting. It's something new. Um, I really hope that the brand kind of pushes this design forward. We get some smaller sizes. Currently, they definitely are creating a nice foundation piece here because um, currently they have a Kickstarter, which they're presenting some new color versions of this watch. And those color versions are kind of named after different cities. There's a New York version and there are a couple other versions as well. But it's nice to see that they've turned this watch, this set made, this Roma edition into kind of a, a foundation piece. And they're kind of building on this specific piece. But as I said, I'd really like to see it in some different sizes. With that being said, that leads to review for this week. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, comments, definitely drop them in the comment section below. Um, definitely follow us and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram, watch with us channel on Instagram. We're also on Clubhouse, which is just a great, great nice, <laughs> a great, nice new app right now. Um, look for me as Ricardo Cime on Clubhouse. Uh, I try to start a couple rooms every once, every, every once in a while. Um, but many ways to follow us guys. I hope you enjoyed the review this week. Next week we'll have another review on the channel, but I'll see you then. Have a nice week. Bye guys.